Hi what's up everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the top best PC cases for custom water cooling you can buy on Amazon. If you are new to this channel please consider subscribing to our channel and press the bell icon. What characteristics differentiate the best PC case for water cooling builds? It all comes down to chassis size, radiator support, and the ease with which custom water cooling loops can be installed within the chassis. We've compiled a list of our favorite PC cases for use with a water cooling loop, allowing you to drive your machine and imagination to new heights. This list is based on my personal opinion and research and lists them based on quality features and pricing. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned be sure to check the links in the description below. So let's get started. On number 5 colon Thermaltake Core P90. The angular nature of the Thermaltake Core P90 looks like something out of a futuristic science fiction film almost like a work of art. This modular mid-tower has 5mm thick tempered glass on two sides to showcase its parts, and its innovative method of isolating its internals allows for better cooling. Thermaltake also claims that the Core P90 can accommodate serious liquid cooling setups, but getting such a setup to work is a bit of a challenge. Although the tower appears to have enough space for a water cooling system, the radiator mount is very small, only 122.5mm, and won't accommodate a 280mm radiator dot that's not a complete deal breaker as the design of the case allows for some creativity in build and the overall size of the case allows plenty of space for radiators as large as 480mm. It also features the room for open loop cooling, but more mounts are needed than are provided by Thermaltake. Despite falling a little short of the extreme claim, the Core P90 is altogether a very good choice for a custom water-cooled build. Aside from its water cooling capability, the tower lacks many features for its class and price range. It lacks RGB lighting, fan controllers, and USB 3.1 Type-C support out of the box, all of which are common on other towers. The hard drive is also encroached upon by the radiator, leaving only one 2.5 inches SSD and one 3.5 inches hard drive accessible. Rather, the Core P90 distinguishes itself through its design and exclusive mounting and positioning choices. Its two-way GPU placement allows for vertical GPU mounting and includes the requisite riser cable. The tower itself can sit vertically, horizontally, or can be mounted on the wall. Wall mounting might be a daunting endeavor, though, due to the sheer weight of the P90. It's a showcase at heart, so however you decide to configure the P90, it's guaranteed to be an eye-catcher. All in all, the Thermaltake Core P90 makes for a good choice for a water-cooled custom build. It's got style in spades, with its unique modular shape and tempered glass sides, and more than enough room inside to pack in a pretty hefty cooling setup. Despite being a little light on features compared to some other mid-tower cases, its striking looks make up for its minor shortcomings. On number 4 Colon Corsair Crystal Series 680X RGB Because of its scale, the Corsair Crystal Series 680X is a formidable mid-tower example, and RGB fans and hinge-tempered glass panels on the front and roof make it a true showstopper. Its innovative dual-chamber architecture allows you to display extremely sleek builds while also providing plenty of room for custom water cooling setups, all while keeping it looking clean and tidy. The dedicated cooling chamber of the 680X boasts numerous fan and radiator mounts, which gives you the freedom to be creative in your build. It can house radiators up to 360mm in size in the front, up to 280mm on top, 140mm in the back and up to 280mm at the bottom of the case. The case is a great choice for a water-cooled build because of all the prime real estate it has to offer. Another great feature of this tower is the high level of accessibility. What good is all that space if you can't get to it? Well, the tempered glass that encases the tower is hinged, making installation incredibly easy and gives you quick access, and a lovely view, of all your components. On the topic of views, the Crystal Series 680X comes with sparkling RGB fans pre-installed. Corsair's IQ app allows you to fully customize and synchronize the 48 RGB LEDs. Although the 120mm fans may not be big enough to meet the most demanding cooling specifications, they are a great value right out of the box. The 240mm fan in the back, however, is not RGB. The 680X is compatible with a wide range of motherboard sizes, from Mini ITX to EATX. The tower also features a removable tray with slots for up to 7 SSDs or HDDs. However, when maxing out the drive capacity, it should be noted that airflow may be a concern, but a water cooling focused build will have no issues here. Overall, the Corsair Crystal Series 680X represents amazing value and is a great tower choice for anyone looking to house a water cooling setup. 
Its design allows for a dedicated cooling chamber with enough room for two radiators, while the customizable RGB lights beg to be shown off to friends or on your stream. The option for up to seven drives allows you to pack as much storage in your mid-tower case as possible. The case's impressive number of features, high degree of accessibility, and overall ease of construction make it a standout option that anyone looking for a mid-tower case for water cooling should highly consider. On number 3 colon Asus ROG Strix Helios. Asus continues to dabble in the tower market with the Helios. This mid-tower looks and feels like an American muscle car, weighing up to 70 pounds when fully assembled and supporting each motherboards and 9 storage drives. The Republic of Gamers RGB graphic on the front of the tower adds color to the black aluminium body, while the tempered glass sides reveal the internal components. The monstrous Helios comes out of the box ready for some serious water cooling, which will be absolutely necessary if you're to get the most out of this tower. Its radiator mounting bracket can support a radiator up to 420mm in length and 90mm across, while the interior of the tower has more than ample room for any kind of water cooling configuration. Open loop cooling looks incredible behind the tempered glass and the Helios has all the mounts you'll need to make that a reality. All of this combines to make the Asus an excellent choice for a water-cooled tower. Four 140mm fans provide additional cooling for the Helios, and the Helios has mounting space for up to seven additional fans, also with a radiator and water cooling system installed. Although the 140mm fans cannot be upgraded, their inclusion is still a great deal. With its motherboard support and storage capabilities, the Helio stands out among its rivals. Each motherboard compatibility and up to 9 storage drive options aren't common in mid-tower cases, but Asus delivers. Additionally, it also supports two vertically mounted graphics cards or three horizontally mounted graphics cards. The Helios is capable of housing some very impressive components, and, as we covered earlier, keeps them all quite cool. Some might say that the Helios isn't even a true mid-tower due its size and heft, fortunately the included carry strap allows this behemoth to be quite a bit more mobile than you might expect. Not that you'd plan on carrying around your 70 plus pound tower, but the option is welcome. Overall, the Helios is a fantastic mid-tower, particularly if you intend to use water cooling. It has more space than you'll ever need and all the necessary mounts to allow you to create any configuration you want. It has the potential to handle beefier components than its rivals while staying calm. Its only drawbacks are its large size and weight, as well as the fact that a tower at this price point should have a more eye-catching style. On number 2 Colon Cooler Master Masterbox TD500 The Masterbox TD500 provides a powerful water cooling system on a tower with all the anticipated mainstream features for the slightly more price conscious. Its greatest attribute is its ability to cool itself with water. On the front and side, it supports two 360mm radiators, with additional radiator support in the back. Of course, there's just enough space to get all in, but with all the RGB, it could be a close fit in the back. The master box also readily accepts most pre-built water cooling rigs so if you're looking for high quality cooling, the master box has you covered. However, you should look elsewhere if you're looking to equip a radiator larger than 360mm, as anything larger than that will simply not fit. In addition to the dual radiators, it features three RGB fans out of the box and offers support for up to seven fans total. That's a serious commitment to cooling and more than sufficient for most builds. The RGB is easily customizable, but as mentioned before, the fan cords can get a bit unwieldy and crowd the back radiator. It would have been helpful if more cord management solutions were present. The fans can also be pretty noisy. The master box is fully wrapped in mesh, making it a rather attractive mid-tower. It has a three-dimensional appearance and is very striking, particularly when illuminated by the RGB fans. It also has a special slice in its tempered glass side panels. Its appearance is a big selling point, and it outperforms most others in the price range. The mesh also has practical uses, such as improving airflow and preventing dust accumulation. As far as hard drives, the master box can support for. This is plenty of storage for most users, but definitely on the lower end when compared to other mid towers who can easily support six or more. In summary, the Cooler Master Master Box TD500 is an adequate choice for a water cooled mid tower. It does offer dual 360mm radiator support but more serious water cooling builds often call for a larger radiator capacity that it just can't fit. The Master Box is a very solid product from Cooler Master and a decent value at its price point, but cord management is sometimes a problem as well. Its strongest points are its appearance and price, and the average user can find very few flaws with it. On number 1, Thermaltake Core P8. The Thermaltake Core P8 is an easily modifiable and fully customizable full tower case thanks to its modular design. 
After removing the 4mm thick glass panels that line the front, side, and top of the case, it can be wall mounted or display an open layout. It is compatible with EEX motherboards and can accommodate up to 4 radiators. Radiator help is clearly a positive indication that the P8 is ready for a serious water cooling system. On the front and right sides of the tower, two 480mm radiators can be mounted, with a maximum radiator size of 360mm on the top and a 240mm on the bottom. Incredibly, this is all supported simultaneously. Due to the open layout of the tower, both cooling loop configurations or all-in-one systems will find a spacious home in the P8. This tower will absolutely satisfy you water cooling needs, whatever they may be. For additional cooling support, the P8 also features an array of fan mounts so you can bring the best of both air and water cooling to your P8 build. 20 possible fan mounting locations line the interior of this case. Consider all of those fans, all of them illuminated by RGB and shining through the tempered glass. The P8 isn't the most aesthetically appealing build, but it does have the classic good looks of a high-end case. This model's tempered glass is particularly good, and it's a little thicker than many of its rivals. The glass can also be removed, as one of the P8's key selling points is the possibility of an open-air layout. Thermal take design the P8 with an open-air philosophy, meaning you have a lot of freedom in the mounting and layout of your build. Thermal take calls it DMD, or dismantleable modular design, and it allows you to essentially build your tower from the ground up. It has full EECS motherboard support and, like many others in its class, the option to vertically mount the GPU. All in all, the Thermaltake P8 is designed for the modern age. Its totally customizable modular design, insane fan support, EECS motherboard support make it a strong title contender. However, the P8's four radiator mounting locations and wealth of space for any custom water cooling configuration is what scores it a knockout blow. This tower is loaded with features, has understated looks, and represents a great value for the price. So guys this was the video about the best PC cases for custom water cooling. Dot all the links are given in the description, do check them out. If you enjoyed the video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you.